our first comic, his name has two letters. His <laughs> letters are M and L. Aww. Let's give it up for Mo. <laughs> without doing race comedy, okay? <laughs> I haven't even said the N-word on stage yet. Last night doesn't count. <laughs> Do you know how much untapped comedic potential there is in me coming up here and just going, well, niggas. <laughs> See, what was funny about that? What did you just laugh at? It's just so funny. I just feel the white liberal guilt from here. <laughs> I mean, it's that fucking easy. I'll just do a whole set on the N-word. So, it's just turn into a you laugh, you lose challenge for 99% of the audience. I see nine. <laughs> so the general consensus is that only black people will say it, right? But there's some other interpretations out there. Like some Hispanic people will also say it, for instance. Guilty. <laughs> um, you know, I'll be walking down Fordham Road and some guy comes up to me, Oh, can you can, my nigga? And a part of me feels like I should be offended. <laughs> but they're so enthusiastic about it. I just have to give it to you, right? But some people go even further than that. They're like, ah, oh, you know, I think anybody should be able to say it, because it's just a word, right? Which is one of those arguments that sounds valid in the moment, but the last time someone told me that, I said they were a son of a bitch and they should go eat shit and die. And all of a sudden I was the bad guy. Oh no, wait, those were just words. <laughs> but I do agree to some extent that it shouldn't just be, you know, if you're black, you can say yet. And hold on, before you send that clip to Fox News, let me explain. I don't think all black people deserve to be able to say yet. Will Smith. I don't know what it is, but something about the way he slapped Chris Rock makes me feel like he would have snitched on Harriet Tubman. <laughs> Kanye West. Yeah. No elaboration here. Yeah. And don't even get me started, though. If Clarence Thomas <laughs> comes up to me talking about some. Oh, well, nigga. Okay, calm down, Uncle Ruckus. Absolutely. Jesus. Because something people don't really understand is it's not just about you saying it, it's also about how you say it. And here's something fun you can do with that, actually. If you've ever wanted to just completely devastate one of your black friends, right, here's all you have to do. You, okay, I'm seeing some confused faces in the audience. So <laughs> stick with me, hypothetical, you have black friends. <laughs> if you've ever wanted to devastate one of your black friends, just say, that they say the N-word like a white person. <laughs> what are they gonna do? No, no I don't, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Listen, man, it's okay. I mean, I heard some positions opened up with the Klan recently. I'm sure they love that. <laughs> Another common talking point I see about the N-word is the whole reverse racism thing, which to me makes about as much sense as the term reverse murder does. But I get the idea, you know, white people a word that black people couldn't say, wouldn't that be racist? No. Uh, <laughs> but also, you guys already have plenty of things we can't say. Like, I'll pay for that with credit. <laughs> I love you too, Dad. <laughs> Don't shoot off soon. <laughs> but the most common place I see this whole reverse racism debate going down is on Instagram, right? Because Someone will post something stupid, like, you know, like, oh, white people when they can't eat spicy food, uh, uh, uh. And, and without fail, someone in the comments would be like, ha, 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 black people when they commit violent crime. <laughs> well, well, hold on a second, I think that was kind of important. Ha, you hypocrite, doesn't feel so good, but you're the butt of the joke, <laughs> And all I can really say to that is, well, niggas. <laughs> anyway, that's all I 